want to see how I got my room from this trash pile to this super clean, super organized room, then keep on watching. Guys, this is embarrassing. I am embarrassed for myself. I am the type of person that is super clean, super organized, and everything is always in its place. I am ashamed for the state that my room has gotten to. I don't even know how it I do know how I got to this state. I have been going everywhere. I've been going on business trips, on weekend trips. I've been hanging out with friends and family. And you know, all of that involves getting ready. And it doesn't help that I'm in the midst of almost moving. So I'm trying to find the things that I really want to take, the things I don't want to take. So everything has just gotten a little out of hand. So we're going to fix this and we're going to fix this right now because I can't live in this room any longer. I'm the type of person that literally needs to make a list for everything that I do in my life. Whether that's how many outfits I'm taking on vacation, my book recommendation list, my daily to do list, my grocery shopping list. I think we're gonna start by making a list of everything that I need to do to make my room get back into the state that I want it to be and not the trash pile that I'm currently living in. So I think what we're gonna start off with is getting all the stuff in here that shouldn't be in here, such as my plates, my cups, my coffee mug. After that's done, we can start with my bulky stuff, such as my trash. Then from there, we can probably get started with my clothes. So I need to separate my clothes into clean piles and dirty piles and really just gather them all because they're kind of just thrown everywhere around my room. And once that's done, we can probably tackle my bed because your bed is the biggest piece of furniture in your room so if that's clean basically your entire room looks a lot cleaner then we're gonna have to clean out my closet just a little bit because once I wash and fold all my clothes a lot of those clothes are gonna have to go back into my closet and if my closet's a mess then I'm just gonna throw my clothes in there then we can't forget I have a three plants in here that I have been neglecting so we're gonna feed my plants give them a little bit of water also with a clean room clean space you kind of want it to look good smell good so we're gonna put on candles maybe spray some Febreze in here after that we need to really get started with cleaning my mirrors okay honestly I think this is a pretty good list to start off with if I remember anything throughout I'll probably just add it to the list because I am the type of person that likes checking boxes to make sure I know that I did something even though I know I did something without having to check a box but we need to start now because the day is going by fast and I need to do this before my friends literally come over later tonight okay but before we actually get started I get so distracted when it comes to cleaning I'll find something from like five years ago and decide I want to play with it or try on clothes that I really don't need to try on so I'm gonna put a time Timer on because I feel like that's just like the best way to keep yourself accountable and they say if you do things in short increments you'll actually get a lot more done we're gonna set a timer for 40 no we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes that way it kind of keeps us accountable Okay, all of this needs to be taken out of my room. And now I'm just gonna start separating my clothes into what can be donated, what needs to be washed, and what can be put away. What is this doing over here hanging? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so I have my hamper. These are all dirty clothes. This is all clean. It just needs to be folded and put away. And this is stuff I'm gonna start donating things and or selling them on like Poshmark or something. I'm moving soon, so I'm not gonna need all of these clothes when I move because I'm moving to Miami. And I have a lot of winter fall clothes that I probably won't be needing. So I'm starting to like gather piles of stuff that I can sell or donate. Actually, change of plans before I wash my clothes I'm gonna do my sheets because like I said that's the biggest part of my room and I need that to be clean before my friends get here so my clothes can wait a little bit but before we do that I'm actually gonna just fold these and put them somewhere else so that I can take off my sheets from the bed and that way my clean clothes aren't all over the floor Here's one thing that people don't tell you. Cleaning is actually a workout. I am so tired, I'm out of breath. I took a five minute break, but now we're getting back and I think we're just gonna start organizing some things because it's messy.
okay so we've made progress we've honestly made a lot of good progress and it's been about like 45 minutes so i've checked off a lot of things on my list i think i'm gonna tackle the closet next just because it's just messy but we've taken out all the trash we've kind of cleaned up like all my main areas this whole shelf is pretty much clean okay so my shoes just came out of the dryer and i'm gonna go make my bed honestly today was probably the perfect day to clean my entire room because it is literally raining so much right now and i feel like whenever it's a rainy day you're kind of lazy <laughs> I think this is very important and we need to do it like ASAP. I'm not ready for this and I don't think you're ready to see the mess that's in here. I don't know how it got this way, but we're gonna fix it. Okay, so. These are all of my swimsuits and like beachy stuff and then these are just sweatshirts when my room was super clean These had nowhere to go. So I just figured I would keep them there. Really. I just need to make sure I hang everything put it in its spot Okay, so my camera battery died, but it's okay. I got to cleaning my bathroom a little bit. I just like deep cleaned it slightly. Okay, so while we wait for my comforter to come out of the dryer, I'm just gonna have a little quick snack. I'm so hungry and super exhausted. And these, I found these at Target the other day. They're little macaroni bites. Kind of scared to try them, but also very excited. So we're gonna see how these go. pretty good so the washer is finally open so i'm gonna go separate my clothes and put a load in the wash <laughs> things so my clothes are currently in the washer and my comforter is currently in the dryer i think i just heard it beep so i might be able to finish making my bed switch my clothes put in another load of laundry after that i just need to kind of swiffer the floor swiffer and dust like my furniture and everything wipe everything down clean my mirrors clean my ceiling fan because that is literally so dusty clean my windows a little bit and my window sills and then we're pretty much done i think i started at 11 and it's dirt o'clock so basically four hours but before we get started with that i need this room to smell so good like i want you to walk in and just be hit with a whole bunch of good smelling smells because that's what this room needed. It needed a little bit of a TLC and with that is candles. <laughs> I want to actually clean my ceiling fan before I do my bed because I don't want all that dust, all those dust particles to like kind of fall in my bed. Okay, but look at this. It's this cool little Swiffer thingy with a handle. So I'm going to use this to get in the crevices of my ceiling fan because there is so much dust in there. I always forget to clean my ceiling fan. So this is your sign to clean your ceiling fan because this is dusty, like dusty, okay? Ew, this is so gross. Clean your ceiling fan. Okay, so now that this is clean, I'm just gonna use that same little Swiffer thing and kind of just Swiffer dust my entire room and then go over that with like cleaning stuff. Okay, so I just finished a deep cleaning everything. I went in with my all-purpose cleaner and my Swiffers. I Swiffered the floor and everything. And I almost forgot before I go fold my clothes, I almost forgot to be the good plant mom I said I was gonna be. So now I have to water my plants. Guys, I am done. We are done. I'm so excited that we're finally done cleaning my room because it was a mess. 
it was a mess once you see how it is now is how it usually is my room is usually super nice super neat super clean and what it was before it just wasn't like me i don't know who made my room that messy but it wasn't me because this is how i usually keep my room but it smells so good in here the volcano candle from anthropology it has my heart i'm going to show you like a very briefly what everything looks like i also have like a room tour video on my channel i'm not sure how recent it is but if you want an updated one i'd be more than happy to make an updated one for you guys i'll probably make one of those anyways before i move out Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this encourages you to go clean your room because if my room was this messy, I'm pretty sure your room is maybe just a little messy. Hopefully not as messy as my room was, but maybe just a little bit. So I encourage you to go clean it. Don't forget to clean your ceiling fan. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.